So in this video, we will be covering the analytical hierarchy process. So for that, I have taken an example that in this example, we have five suppliers and four factors. Okay. So you have to select the best supplier depending on these four factors. Now quality is higher the better, cost is lower the better, on time delivery is higher the better and service is higher the better. Okay, so these are the objective functions of each criteria. Right? So let us see how to solve this problem using AHP method logic. So the first step is you have to formulate pairwise comparison matrix for various criteria which is called as A1 matrix. So you have total four criteria that is these four criteria and you have to compare it. Okay. So we have to form pairwise matrix. Now we have first this diagonal is always one because we cannot sir, compare quality is equal to quality, right? So this diagonal will be always one. Now we have to decide what proportion quality is important or cost is important. So for me, quality is more important than cost. So I have to give the relation between quality and cost, right? So approximately quality is, let us say, two times important than cost. Okay, so that means quality is equal to two times cost, all right? So in this way, we have to form the relation. And again, quality is, let us say, five times important to me than on time delivery. Quality is eight times or say seven times important to me than the service. Right? So similarly, in this way, you have to compare cost with reference to on time delivery. So cost is, let us say, five times important to me than on time delivery means cost is more important to me. Okay? Similarly, service, let us say, it is again five times important. Then cost. Now we have to compare on time delivery with the service. Now on time delivery is also very important to me, that's why I will get suppose three. Three times important to me than service. Okay. Now in the lower triangle matrix, you just have to fill reciprocal of this. So since quality is two times important to me, okay, then cost. So I will write one by the reciprocal of this, that is. 0.5, right? Similarly, this is the reciprocal of this. This will be the reciprocal of this, right? Similarly, service and cost, 1 by service and cost is this. Similarly, this is 1 by 3. Again, on time delivery with the cost, it is equal to 1 by on time delivery and the cost. Here it is. Okay. So we have obtained the A1 matrix. Right. So the next step is to calculate the geometric mean. Okay. So how to calculate geometric mean of this? This is equals to multiplication of all the rows to the power one by number of factors that is four factors are there that's why raised to one by four. This is the geometric mean. I will drag here. Okay. So you have to sum this geometric mean just to obtain the normalized weightages. Now we are in the process of calculating the weightages. So this is the sum of sum of 
geometric means. So this sum is obtained. Now we have to calculate the A2 matrix, right? So this is nothing but your individual geometric mean divided by the sum of geometric mean, right? So this is nothing but this is equals to individual geometric mean divided by total geometric mean into 100. You will not 200. So for second case, you can see it is a division of 1.88 divided by 5.67. Okay. So in this way, we have calculated the geometric mean. This is your A2 matrix. Now always remember that sum of the A2 matrix will always be equal to 1. If you are not getting the sum of A2 matrix as 1 means you are doing some mistake. Okay. That's why the sum of A2 matrix will be equal to 1. Now in the next step, we will be calculating the A3 matrix which is equals to your A1 matrix multiplied by A2 matrix. Right? So how to do this? That is equals to the first value from A1 matrix multiplied by the first value of A2 matrix, right? So this is plus the second value of A1 matrix multiplied by the second value of A2 matrix. In this way, we have to obtain the A3 matrix, right? This is the A3 matrix. Now, since A2 matrix remains same, I'm just adding the dollar sign so that I can fix this. H column, so J column, this is the two matrix, and if I drag it now, it will calculate multiplication for all the parameters, right? So this is your A3 matrix. Now we have to calculate A4 matrix which is equals to A3 by A2. Okay, so this is simply A3 divided by A2. So approximately, if your pairwise comparison is correct, that is if your A1 matrix is correct, you will get this value, that is A4 matrix, which is approximately near to number of parameters. Now in this case, there are total four categories. That's why you are getting something like 4 4.07, 4.16, 4.21, 4.15 and so on. So, in, after that, we have to calculate the lambda average. That is equals to average of all the values. So, your lambda max or lambda average is 4.15, right? The next step is to calculate your consistency index, right? So this is the formula to calculate your consistency index. So let us see n the value of n is 4, right? So this it is equals to 
lambda is this value. You can take both the values, lambda average or lambda max. Right? There are variations in AST methodology. You can take any value that is 4, right? Divided by 3. N minus 1 is 3. Okay. So this value is 0 0.05, right? The next step is to calculate the consistency ratio. So, well, formula for consistency ratio is CI by RI. So, RI stands for random index. Okay. Now, this table will guide you regarding the value of RI based on the value of N. So, for if you can see, for four number of factors, RI is 0.90. Right? Let us calculate the value for consistency ratio that is equals to CI is this value divided by 0.90. Right? Now this consistency ratio is equals to 0 0.05. Right? If the value of consistency ratio is less than 0.1. That means you are consistent. You are consistent. This A1 matrix is consistent. You are consistent with your logic, right? If this value is greater than 0 0.1, then you have to revise this A1 matrix. Means this matrix. You have to revise. So, what are the possible causes of this inconsistency? I will explain this in the short. That suppose in case you have given quality is equals to, suppose say in this case we have given 2 times C, right? Suppose in other column you have given, let us say quality is equals to, suppose say 2 times service. Now, observing these two equations, there is basically a logic that your cost should be equal to service. If this is not the case, or suppose by accident you write it is 5 times s. So, means that this means that you are inconsistent with your saying. In one case, you are saying quality is 2 times cost, in other the place you are saying quality is 2 times service. Okay. And in third case, you are saying quality is 5 times service. So, means you are inconsistent with your logic. So, that's why you have to check inconsistency of the A1 matrix. Right. Now, we have checked that your matrix is consistent. Okay. Now, the next step is to calculate we have completed this step that is check consistency of the matrix. If this stage is correct, then you have to evaluate your alternatives. Right? Consistent matrix means your calculated weightages. That is A2 matrix is called as the weightages. Weights. The weights you are assigning to each factor. Right? The third step is, is to evaluate alternatives. Now we will go back to your first table. I am again once again copy pasting this table down I am pasting it over here. Now you have to evaluate each supplier based on your different factors, right? But before that, we have to convert each factor in either maximize as an objective function or minimize as an objective function. Okay. So, this quality objective function is maximize, cost is to be minimized, on time delivery is to maximize, service is to be maximized. Right? And hence, we will convert this cost per unit column into maximization case. Now, how to convert this? We will use a simple logic that the highest 
the lowest cost is the best. Okay, so I will assume lowest is equals to hundred percent. Okay, and with reference to this lowest, I will convert all other values. Right, the lowest value in the cost column is uh, is ninety. Right, lowest cost is ninety per unit. So you will assign hundred percent to this. Right, so I am assigning hundred. Now you have to convert the other values in terms of this hundred percent. Right, so this value is hundred. Let us convert here of only. What you have to do? You have to. You have converted. The original cost in the first is ninety, right? So lowest is ninety. So you have to convert. Like suppose you are converting this. Okay. So how will you convert? It is nothing but you are uh, this uh, second value divided by ninety. Okay. Not ninety. Okay. The lowest value that is ninety by this row, which is hundred. Multiplied by your percent value that is hundred, right? So this hundred will be converted into ninety, and in similar way, you will convert your other values, right? That is, this one one zero case will be ninety divided by one one zero multiplied by hundred. So your minimization objective function will get converted into maximize time, right? Let us paste these values over here. Okay, so I have pasted these values over there. So now this objective function is converted into maximize time. However, all the objective functions are maximized, but one problem will be there that three factors are in numerical data, and the fourth factor is of categorical data, right? This is text qualitative data, right? So we have to convert these qualitative data using a scale, right? So I am using this scale to convert my qualitative data into quantitative data. Right, so excellent. I am giving five. Very good. I am giving four. Average is three. Very good is four, and bad is two. Right. So this is again the maximization function. Right. So next way, next step is to evaluate your alternatives. And I am first copying these weights from here. These are my weights from the matrix. So, how to calculate fitness evaluation or fitness value? So, for that, you will be multiplying this, that is B thirty cell, into its corresponding factor weightage. Okay. So, this is equals to. So, you are calculating the fitness value for supplier one. Right, so this value multiplied by its weightage plus the second value multiplied by okay. This is this needs to change to hundred. We have not changed this. Okay, lowest cost was ninety, but its percentage was hundred. Right, so let us do once again. That is this multiplied by it plus second factor multiplied by its weight plus 
third factor multiplied by its edge plus fourth factor multiplied by itself. Okay. So this gives me the fitness value for first supply that is 89.67. Okay. Since these weights are fixed, I will assign the dollar sign to my D36 uh, throw that is this. Right. So I'm putting the dollar sign. I'm just dragging it. You can see that it is multiplication of second row and vertices. Third case, it is multiplication of third row and vertices. Right? So I have estimated the fitness value of each supplier. Now, next important thing is we have to rank the supplier. Right now, I am putting up here the ranking. Now, since we have converted our problem into maximization type, the higher the value of fitness function will be the best supply. Right? So you can see maximum value from this. Okay. So, maximum value is eighty nine point six seven which belongs to supplier one, right? So, your rank one is supplier one. Okay. So, similarly, you have to see the other values. So, again, you have to see this is supplier two is the rank second. So, it is having 88.33. Now, again, 88 value is this. So, supplier five is at the third position. Now fourth is S4 supplier, it is having 87.92 and last rank goes to S3 supplier, it is having 87.08. Now in this way you have to rank the supplier and you can select supplier 1 as your priority. If supplier 1 is not available, then you can go for supplier 2. If supplier 2 is also not available, then you can go for supplier 5 and so on. Right. So in this way, you can uh, follow the methodology of analytical hierarchy process and can solve multi-criteria decision-making problems. I hope you have understood this. Thank you. Have a nice day.